All right, Power 5 this week, Chris Brockman and TJ Jefferson. What up, baby? Week 14 in the books. Wow, unbelievable. All right, so we're going to run down our top five teams in the National Football League. First up, I'll go number five for me, the Los Angeles Rams. I really like what they're doing. Defense, oh my gosh, Aaron Donald, absolute monster. And look, if Jared Goff doesn't make mistakes, there's so many offensive weapons. Sean McVay's in a groove. This is a team that can make... A lot of hay in the postseason. I like the Rams at number five. Number four, the Tennessee Titans. I I don't think we're talking enough about how Derrick Henry is probably the MVP in this league. I know he's not going to win it. He probably may not even get a single vote. It's all going to go to Patrick Mahomes and Aaron Rodgers. But what Derrick Henry does week in and week out, that type of punishment that he delivers on a weekly basis, that that takes its toll. In the playoffs, you're going to see this dude do some things, and that's why Tennessee has a chance to go to the Super Bowl when you got this guy, and they're my number four team. Number three, it's time. It's time to really rally behind Bill's Mafia right now. Josh Allen is taking his game to such another level, and you know Kyle Brandt told us he's a taller Aaron Rodgers, and I think that's right on. He is like a hybrid of Rodgers and Ben Roethlisberger and Mahomes. The, the stuff that this dude can do... Don't even factor in the fact that you can throw it 100 yards and out of the stadium. He's unbelievable. So the Bills are going to ride or die with Josh Allen. And right now, they're riding number three for me. Number two, my two and number one teams are still the same from last week. I got Green Bay at number two. I have Kansas City at number one. I think they're on a collision course for the Super Bowl. There's just no denying it right now. Mahomes and Rodgers are the two MVPs of the league. Take your pick. I'm fine with either one. And so that's how I'm finishing my list, TJ. Green Bay two. Kansas City, number one. What say you? Interesting, interesting, bro. Well, you know, for me, I've had the Steelers in my power five, top five every week, you know? Every week. You know, the thing about the Steelers was everyone kept saying how Big Ben's throwing the ball out in 2.9 seconds. And I'm thinking that was because that was the new offense. It was quick hitting routes. Then we come to find out he's got to throw it that quick and short because he can't throw it deep. And even if he does throw it deep, the Steelers receivers are dropping the ball at an alarming rate. Now, if you can't catch the ball and you can't run the ball, you're going to have a hard time winning football games. True that. And when you lose four linebackers, how do you make up for that? You can't. So because of all of that, Steelers are dropping out of my top five and I'm replacing them with the L.A. Rams. Um, I like it. You know, my higher register last week was that maybe the Rams could come out of the NFC. Let's see. The defense is hard. You can't run on them because there's Aaron Donald. You can't throw on them because there's Jalen Ramsey. If Jarrett Goff can be consistent if this running game can be consistent you can see some great things out of the Rams so I got them at number five and number four I'm with you on the Titans man one thing you don't want to do is get beat up right no one likes getting beat up in life nobody no one likes having to tackle a 250 pound running back running (laughs) downhill when it's cold out at the end of a football game after you're already beat up so Derrick Henry that's why people call that move a business decision all right you're choosing not to get beat up any more than you already have so you're not really going to try to tackle Derek. So good luck. Good luck. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Have at it. <laughs> I got the Titans at four. And number three, man, the Buffalo Bills. Bills Mafia, you've been showing us love, and I got to show it right back to you, right? What they've been doing, it's fun to watch. And I've told you before, Josh Allen, because he gave me one of my earliest interviews when I started this job. I've always got like a little special place for Josh Allen. So I'm enjoying watching them play, man. And Stephon Diggs, even though he's solely responsible for me losing my fantasy football playoff. Same. I'm not going to hold that against you, baby. We got the Bills at number three. And number two, I'm going to stick with the Pack. Go, Pack, go. You know, I I thought about flipping them in the Rams, but I'm going to leave it as is. And at number one, the Kansas City Chiefs. (laughs) I mean, you know, we didn't think that that Dolphins game was so close, but you got to realize if you take away the special teams touchdown and that bomb that Cheetah had, that's a tight game. But you know what they did? They're winning games. They're finding different ways. Remember a few weeks ago, Rich said, looks like the Chiefs are now a running team. They're not running the ball so much anymore. Nope. <laughs> they can beat you in the air. They can beat you on the ground. So until somebody figures out a way to stop them, the Chiefs, they're my number one. And that is our power five for the week.